Well, hey out there, fans, friends, feds, and frenemies, it's me, Postmodern Cowboy, and I am back with, uh, I think this is what, episode number 17, episode number 17 of Going Medieval. Um, Going Medieval is a community management survival game from Foxy Voxel. It's a lot like RimWorld or Dwarf Fortress. I've, uh, I've been playing this one for a while. We're on the second hardest difficulty, um, as we've ascertained, and... This is the Aber Wyvern seed. Aber Wyvern is a fictional community from the uh, book Castle uh, by David McCauley, uh, also a PBS animated television series of the same name, uh, from, uh, debuted in 1983. Uh, actually, a little bit before my time, uh, before I date myself here, a little bit before my time, but I definitely saw uh, reruns of Castle um, when I was young. And tonight, uh, let's do our beer review of the night. Uh, I am drinking Double Dry Hopped IPA. Let's go exploring from Eastbound Brewing Company in Toronto. Um, tastes like pine citrus melon. Pairs well with steak and wings, which I did not have for dinner. Um, and it's hopped with Idaho 7 and Simcoe. Yeah, all right. Anyway, um, there's my uh, obligatory IPA snobbery out of the way. Um, it's actually really good. I just opened this can and uh, chef's kiss. It's really good. Uh, brewer's kiss? Brewer's kiss, I guess. Okay. Uh, speaking of brewing, let's get brewing. Uh, that's sort of where I left off, right? Summer day 11, we're headed into fall. We're going to get a barley crop in. How much barley do I have up? 800, 800 barley. So it's time to make some beer, folks. It's time to make some beer. So do I have herbs? Am I getting her? So I have lots of herbs. So we're going to use the herbs and we're going to make some beer. Uh, do we want to make it forever? Or do we want to make it until we have an amount? How many community members do I have? Ten community members. So let's keep a stockpile of ten beer on any given day. That should burn through my herbs, I think. Um, it might be a little too aggressive. Let's see, if I start running low on barley and herbs... Then, uh, then we'll revisit this plan. Oh, she's already working on it. Catherine's preparing food. What's she going to get? Oh, she's going to get uh, kindling, right? We're back with this old problem. So the update dropped. Um, this is the new temperature system. Um, for which I was preparing. It'll be interesting to see this headed into fall and winter, how it how it affects the length of the days. Um, I don't know if summer days are substantially longer, but you're going to learn as I learn because because that's that's how this works, folks. Um, why was I putting a wall along the edge? I guess I understand what I was doing. Okay, should probably check in before I speed up time to make sure everybody's doing what they ought. Alfred is cooking. Catherine is cooking. See, it's been it's been so long. Um, backstory here. I think I talked about this a little in the last video I did. Uh, it's been like three or four weeks since I did a video. Uh, two weeks or so since I uploaded a video. Um, I'm doing this one in a shorter turnaround. Tomorrow I'm gonna switch over to Seven Days to Die. Do a little bit of that um, before some some other games come along that I'm looking forward to playing. I also really want to do an Astronauts stream. Really want to do an Astronauts stream. Um, but I got a new job, um, and so it's taken me a little bit of time to calibrate my personal schedule, but uh, I'm doing okay. Things are great, and the job is awesome. Um, it's actually it's a little bit like going medieval in microcosm. Um, like I said before, <sighs> hello, Groundskeeper Willie. With like 100% less trying to kill the kids. Okay. Right, so my cow died, and one of my sheep died. I guess I slaughtered some sheep, or a sheep starved. I don't really know. She probably starved. Let's go with that. We're pumping out lavish meals. This is amazing. Fucking amazing. Oh, we're not even waiting for another barley crop. We're, uh, we're making cabbage right now. Right, so I switched over because it was late in the season. Barley wasn't going to come up again. I understand. I understand. Animals are hungry. What animals are hungry? Toby. Toby. What is Toby? Toby. Is Toby a cat? If Toby's a cat, Toby's getting next. Yeah, Toby's a cat. 
Why is Toby hungry? What do cats eat? I don't know. Dude, figure it out. It's not that it's not that hard. You're a cat. Like I guess there's a dearth of rats in the castle now. Oh, and I was lowering the floors. Okay, so that's so what else is going on here? We're dropping the dropping the floor to create the great hall area. I remember. Um, which means there's a lot of mining that needs to be done outside as well around the foundation of this place. It's going to be... I created an outdoor stockpile for some reason. Probably shouldn't have mechanical components on it. Those decay, shouldn't have pigments tallows or beeswax uh, or vinegar. Speaking of beeswax, did I actually, I think I deleted my hives when the construction was getting. I might as well create, this has to be outdoors, I think. So I'll put it, uh, if the game looks better, by the way, um, it's because I figured out I was not recording a full resolution. I was recording on uh, what 720p and now we're on 1080p. Um, it's the little things that make the difference, right? Okay, just drop an ice box there for now. And where are the skips? Where do I find skips? Ooh, ladders. Ladders are new. Ladders are new. Um, that's going to be cool. That's going to allow me to make like vertical square towers of uh, nominal size. Uh, would a would have changed the design for this for sure. If I could have put intermediary towers, it would have made it a little bigger. But anyway, that's fine. Um, Skips, skips. It's got to be under crafting, no? Oh, there it is. Yeah, it is under crafting. Wow, one can in the beer is already getting two. Look at that. Okay, so I'm going to drop the beehives. Oh, I don't know. I don't know where to put them. Everything's going to get mined out. I guess I have no choice but to put them up here. I also need to put four skips and I think if I'm not mistaken, yeah, there's no merchant bench anymore. So I'll put a merchant bench in one of these uh, front towers so we still get the merchants for now. One of them in the gatehouse towers. And I'll have Kevin haul that uh, Uh, you won't haul the shields? Of course not. There's no spot on the stockpile for... Okay, well... That complicates things a little bit. Things feel smoother. I just... I, I don't know what else they changed, but I feel like a bunch of stuff is different now. It's hard to... Hard to really... I didn't read the patch notes in detail. Okay, we'll put the bench, the uh, merchant stall there. That's fine. Boy, I gotta, I gotta get uh, some temperature control in here. It's, uh, it's summer where I am now, and uh, you know I might have to, might have to put this in pause and go turn on my AC. I see the sweat beating on my brow there. It's warm in here. It's only 72 degrees. It shouldn't be this warm, but uh, but I just, I just cooked a chicken. A uh, whole chicken. It was delicious. It was so good. And Greek salad. Chef's kiss. Second time I've done that today, guys. Chef's kiss uh, for uh, Let's Go Exploring and a homemade roast chicken. It was just awesome. Okay. Got some sheep shearing going on there. Sheep are definitely dying. Why are sheep dying? What is killing my sheep? Do the animals not get along anymore? Is there <laughs> this a patch note? How many sheep do I have left? Is this if I run out of sheep. Um what would that be under overview? Domestic animals. Yeah, we definitely so one, two, three, four sheep. No, um, four, five, six sheep. 
Okay, if one more sheep dies, I'm splitting them all up. I wonder if the sheep uh, experience... a temperature effect. No. Just says summer 12, she perished. Doesn't say why. This was one of my birthing sheep, gave birth to a lot of the others. Might have been old age, to be honest. Might have been old age. Okay, so nobody's researching currently, but we probably could get somebody on that. It's hailing right now, right? Is that is that what's going on out there? Hailstorm. Yeah, I didn't even get a an alert, but that's gonna damage some of my crops. Not that not that we're too concerned, but it does it does break. You can see the bear patches. I think it'll be fine. What's that? Osgard. Why can't Osgard get to his bed? Hmm, there are new... I don't know what that red uh, red circle slash means. Maybe I should have read the patch notes, folks. <laughs> I just saw new, new temperatures, and we'll, we'll figure it out as we go, but I guess I'm playing in a high difficulty here. And, uh... You know, if my entire community dies in an episode or two, we'll uh, we'll know who to blame. And I'll start again with uh, a full understanding of the temperature issues. But but no, I think I think we'll be fine. Um, who is my miner, and why aren't they mining? Send Hank over to mine. Yeah, that should work. That should work nicely. I don't need everybody mining, but a few people chipping away. It's going to make a big difference. Now, who's my construction? Andrew. Hank is so proficient at mining, he's just chewing through this stuff. Ooh, we got new graded floors too, which lets sunlight through. I have to remember that. So now you can have like upper floor. Could uh, could put a garden up here, I guess, right? Well, I mean, I could actually put a garden on the roof. That would, I've never really thought about doing that. If just a small herb garden, it would be fun. Or a balcony garden. Hmm, I think I'm going to do a balcony garden on the back side here. That would look nice. Yeah, that would look nice. But we're going to finish all the excavation before I do any of that. This is going to be an ongoing project. Let everybody continue doing what they're doing. Slowly, but surely. So with the addition of ladders, folks, with the addition of ladders the AI can use to traverse vertically, uh, I suspect, and this is just this is just baseless conjecture, but I suspect that the next major development, because they've talked about new siege weapons, and it's so obvious, it's such a glaring omission. The next the next development uh, will be ladders for the AI that they'll use to scale your walls and so suddenly the height of the walls and the position of the walls and 
like flanking fire and stuff. Those are all going to be really important. Right now they don't matter because the enemy just dogpile your only entrance. Um, but when they're able to scale the walls or find other points of entry, um, which small groups of them will be able to like enter the back way and start destroying your, your crafting stations inside your curtain unless you've built well, um, which I am building well, I think that's going to be a major... Uh, okay, let's immediately set that up to make ice. You just want 10 blocks. That That's going to be a major change. Um, and I, I'm predicting it now. I'm calling it now. Um, you know, Foxy Voxel, don't let me down. Give us some new siege warfare. You've given us temperature, which is actually pretty cool. Um, uh, are there fireplaces? If there are... I don't think there are fireplaces yet. Yeah, the only fireplace is like the kitchen. Okay, I gotta cut some trees down. That's something I learned to do at work, by the way. Cut trees down. I did my uh, my technical technical tree felling uh, two day course chainsaw theory uh fun stuff really fun stuff um i i got to cut down a big tree big old big old dead pine tree got to cut it down yelled timber it was great uh, okay we're gonna use the wedges first okay let's cut this Okay, looks like everybody is clear. Uh, go ahead and haul. Oh yeah. Timber! Uh, <laughs> that was awesome. That was really awesome. Do more fun things with your life, folks. Don't just like do a job. Do a job that like Let's you do fuck. Fun things. Fuck. <laughs> fuck. Okay, what are we up against? We're up against adept archers, archers, and a whole bunch of marauders. Okay. Ooh, and they are right outside the walls. This is suboptimal, in fact. Okay, everybody is deployed. Optimal, even. Not suboptimal. Optimal. Their positioning is... What? There's a hole in my wall. That's why I got an attack. Because the game is fucking evil. Oh, I'm about to lose everything here. This is a normal wooden door. Okay. Can I cheese this? Oscar's going to die for this one. Okay, he bought himself some time. Now they're confused. Now they're legit confused. They're going to chase him. Okay, that was that was slick. Everybody else should be getting into their battles right now, but they're not for whatever reason. Okay. Run, Osgar, run. They might beat him to the gate. 
They're totally going to beat him to that fucking gate. Oh, God. Get in there, dude. <laughs> Slick. Okay. I don't care if they beat on my gates. They're not, they're not coordinated or together yet. That gives us a second. Okay. That was really good, actually. That was a good recovery for having a hole in my wall. He's like, quick, throw up a brick wall. Oh, oh. Fake you out. You can't get in that way. I'm going to make maybe more use of those systems. Okay. Now for everybody else. I forget who does what. Uh, you get uh, melee two-handed. Andrew's taken a bow. Okay, Hankin is not a marksman, so Hankin, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna put I'm gonna give them all ranged and hope they take the shitty bows too. No one needs a melee weapon right now, right? This enemy's not through. Really what I need to make sure they do is they get their helmets on. It was a new sound too, with the enemy attack. It wasn't the horn, it was some weird some weird, uh, I don't know. Okay, no shields. Give everybody helmets, helmets, helmets. I'm gonna have to make sun hats too for the next, the, uh, the upcoming spring, summer season. Um, we don't really need to change our clothing right now, and we're gonna have them all. I think it doesn't matter. I'll just give them warrior armor, which should be a combination of the plates and the uh, males. Plates and males that we have stockpiled. I really hope this works. I really hope this works because I don't want to. Okay. Okay, they're all in there. Okay, do they all have weapons? No, Mark doesn't have... Miss a... can take a longbow. And Peter can take a short bow. Are they going somewhere else to get their gear? Why would they just not take the closest gear? Okay. Is that plate armor on Peter? No, oh, Peter already has plate armor. Mark needs plate armor and Andrew needs plate armor. Why does Nandra have a bow? Okay, everybody's armed. The enemy's through a couple gates there. That's fine. Okay. We want to get the adept archers first. All right, everybody step up and kill. Okay. 
We haven't killed anyone yet. We're already... Someone's getting low on... Okay. Now we get the... We get the Adept Archer. Okay, we're winning. Okay. Let's get Aiden there. Fuck you, Aiden. Fuck you. Okay. Any more adept archers? I don't think so. Okay, let's just start with this guy. Probably should add an infirmary to the castle. Good, they still got a couple gates to get through. It's definitely going to get harder from here. I think that was all told a good turnaround from a surprise attack. They attacked me because the AI knew I was weak. It knew there was a hole in my walls. I was like, ah, watch this. I'm going to fuck him. Okay, we're going to kill Teotic next after Caitlyn. Oh, it's going to be hard to pick him out of that crowd. Anyone wearing plate armor in that crowd? No. The Adric's the other one. So I'm going to get a critical hit on them. That's good. So yeah, right now I can just farm them for their plate armor. Rafe has plate armor. He's hobbling away. Didn't lose anybody there. No. Okay. Okay, is there anyone else? I don't think there's any other plate armor wear, so let's just pepper them. Huh. They got pretty close. If they break through those doors, they've only got two more doors. <laughs> they break through those doors. They've only got two more doors. Nah, whatever. Yeah, I'm okay with this outcome here. This uh, this worked out for me. Oh, there's armor. There is actually another one with plate armor too. He's got a warhammer, Duncan, and he's dead. Nope, oh, Donald also has plate armor. And like the low grade plate armor, I can just turn into uh, eventually how these guys are gonna have plate armor and uh, crossbows. It'll be great, It'll just be wonderful. I do need to start making crossbows because that'll that'll up our defense game by a lot.
I forget the deal with crossbows. They're less affected or not affected by archery skill. Like, anybody can use them, I think. There's just a light and a heavy crossbow, and the heavy crossbow does, like... New victory music! Oh, and they all like each other because they battled together. Yeah, so patch notes, guys. Read your patch notes. I really like those new sounds. Those are snazzy. Okay. Might also uh might also get Diablo four um this week for lack of anything else to do. And play that, do a video. I had a streaming card on order, guys. Just want wanna let you know that. A streaming card on order and uh and they actually fucked up my order and never shipped it and two weeks after ordering it, it was kinda like, Where's my order? Like, oh, we uh we never bothered to even send it. So I just canceled the order. I just canceled the order. That was that was sad. I am I am sad about the streaming card. But uh hopefully in a couple weeks here I will uh go into the store and get one when I have time. The problem is the primary problem is that I, I work uh my, my work hours are 100% overlapping with any business's hours. You know, I'm starting work at 10 in the morning and I'm finishing at, well, I'm getting home at 8 o'clock. Um, so, <laughs> really, really 8.30, closer to 9. Um, doesn't leave much time. It turns out work in afternoons. Um, but, uh, but boy, is time flying and in like the best possible way. I'm really, uh, really having fun. Okay, where are we at here? Speed time back up. Everybody needs to drop their armor. Let's get your winters on. It's the beginning of autumn. There's no reason to still be wearing summers. Let's have them switch them over to caps. Again, this is super tedious. I hope that there's a future update. Foxy Voxel, I really hope that there's a future update in which I no longer have to micro all of these, but can instead just save a preset and reload a preset. God, would that be amazing? We're sort of playing the game as intended here. Okay. So, no weapons. Might as well do a haul day. There isn't too much to haul anyway. Just all that gear. Might as well just take the mail right off. Okay, yeah, they're putting their bows and stuff back. That was really funny, putting a hole in my own wall. Oops.
Okay, we're full on food. How are we doing on the beer? Is the beer brewing? If it is, I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Fermenting beer. Yeah, so we're at 10 fermenting beer. It's good. 66 cheese. It's phenomenal. Why am I doing this? Doing this to make sure they all haul. Okay, no more planting. That should they should bring in everything now. Okay, I'm just going to organize this stuff over here. They're hauling, but uh, slowly, and the bodies aren't going anywhere. That's annoying. Oh, I guess I should replace the gates, eh? Do I have iron to do so? I don't think I do. Oh, I do. I do. Just a little. It cost me 30 iron at that rate. That's not bad. We got we got more than that in plate armor. We <laughs> just dismantle that plate armor and get a net gain out of those guys. All hauling. That's fantastic. I'm just going to let them do that for several days until they catch up with themselves. I just cut some more trees for the winter. Could just clear this whole section of forest over here. I don't know if animals are affected by temperature or not. Oh, one of my goats died. Definitely aren't hungry.
They're not starving to death. Are we out of goats? Did I is that my last goat? Or do I have more? Female goats. I only have one male goat. So confused as to why my animals are dying. Certainly not a predator. A group of animals arrived, and it was a cow. It's just it was a cat cattle. Let's tame that. Male cow, a bull, <laughs> bull, male cow, it's a bull. So we'll, uh, we'll try to tame that anyway. Okay, the corpses have been moved. A lot of corpses. <laughs> the foxes. The foxes will feast tonight. Man, these pigs. Wish they were dying. Not my. Uh, my goats. I guess it's good. The animal population is declining before winter. Good. Now he's building the gates back. I really hope they add a proper double gate or arched gate or gate to or portcullis or you know a drawbridge would be nice foxy vox oh my god if, you, if you're gonna give the enemies ladders you might as well give us drawbridges just saying that was a pretty serious business bandit raid i'm not gonna lie though like things are definitely getting tougher Soon they'll show up with siege engines, which I'm not too worried about. We've got a got a nice stone wall going here. Okay, Osgar found his bed. I don't know why it had that red circle slash on it before, but uh Ooh. So because I uh yeah, let's take everyone over to steward one as well. It's going to be a really interesting new dynamic with the temperature. we got to keep all the fireplaces and torches lit and stuff. I want to project heat into rooms. I, 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 You know, starting from scratch would have been easier because then I would have been pre-planning the temperature of each room. Um, and I could have done clever things like, you know, shared hearth, warming two rooms or whatever, but... I think I think I want to uh, I think I want to do a playthrough of a Scottish Brock, uh, you know, um, a round tower like this, but tall, and uh, with without a, without a defensive roof, um, but a single entrance at the bottom and two an inner and outer uh, chamber, um, which allow for like heat exchange and warming, and you keep the animals inside in the center, and you build in the grate above on the wicker floor. Like I think I can do really cool Brock designs with some of the new building pieces. Um, you know, have some Scottish, some Scottish characters. Okay, let's see what they get to today. Oscar's unhappy. Why could he possibly be unhappy? Saw dead body. He's ravenous. He's hungry. He can't possibly be starving. He just needs to go get food. There, now he's happy. Yeah, he got food. <laughs> I'm so unhappy I haven't gone downstairs to get breakfast. Yet. Well, the, dude, the breakfast's there. Like, <laughs> your community's not failing you. And his bed is, again, red slash. I don't know. I don't know what that's about, guys. If you know, let me know in the comments, please. It's going to bother me until I figure it out. Okay, we're, we're starting to light braziers. There's going to be some heat going in this joint. It's 
cold inside the castle. It's colder inside than it is outside. What temperature is my uh, kitchen? Temp yeah, kitchen temperature is low. K kitchen temperature is low, but conversely, using the stove will uh, will raise that temperature quite a bit. Okay, we got a merchant coming. Some of them are still hauling. Everybody's in winter clothes, everybody's in caps. We're ready for the season. A lone merchant just showed up, so I'll wait for him to arrive. I guess I should build a cartography table, shouldn't I? Maybe put it in this tower here. No, it's got beds in it. Which it won't for very long. Those are going to move around probably in the next two episodes. Again, I'm not going to have a super huge amount of time to play this, but I'm committed to doing an hour or two every uh, every week. There are other games I want to play, and I, I got to get ready. I got to start focusing on uh, Starfield. That's going to be a big one, um, which is why I want to do an astronaut stream to preface my like space dystopia chat. Um, Catherine's my people person. Catherine, go talk to Siric there. No, don't de de don't deconstruct the damn floor. God damn. All right, talk to Siric. Go. There we go. What's he selling? He's selling barley. He's selling seeds. He's a generic boring merchant. Five flax, six herbs. No, I'm not buying his fucking junket. We don't have any gold, so... I guess whatever I buy from him, I gotta barter with things I can't afford. Stick traps? Like, oh, I guess I could have put traps outside. I haven't done that yet. I did on the first gate early in the game, then I didn't, I didn't place new traps. But that... That would help. That would go a long way to helping. But he's not selling anything. Whatever. I don't even want the things he's selling. It's not worth trading one of my goats. Has anyone else died? No. Okay. Okay. I see one, two, three, four goats, four sheep, five sheep and an ass, six sheep and an ass. I don't know. Osgar's unhappy again. Let me guess. He's hungry? No, he's thirsty. Okay, dude. Beer's fermenting. It's the best I can do. What do I need for this advanced research table? What am I waiting for? Mechanical components. I thought I had mechanical components. Probably not enough, do I? One. I have one mechanical component. Okay. Kevin and Joanna are no longer friends. They had a terrible conversation. I can imagine what he said. Why are they doing things is what I want to know. Like, they're they're really not... For a full day of work, they managed to light a couple of fires. 
and haul some things. Not even really many. Look at all these predators over here. You know, wolves and foxes and like, should just keep chucking the corpses on this side and just build a wall around it. And as long as the wolves and foxes will eat each other, right? Is that a rat? What is that? Polecat. What are you? It's like a weasel. Polecat. Getting on toward the end of the episode here with uh, about 10 minutes remaining on the clock. I'm hoping these folks are going to do something productive in that time. It's like uh, hauling, 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 hauling. That's fine. It's good. It's good that they're hauling outside. Maybe they're hauling wood now. Can they haul the wood? No. No, I wouldn't be that lucky. I wouldn't be that lucky. Oh, are they actually? Of course she's not. Of course she's not. I'm just going to leave them hauling until they bring that wood in, and then, then I'll know they're done hauling. Because that's the last thing they haul for whatever. Either way, I can set the priority on this to be very high. Maybe that'll work. Priority on this will be medium. Priority on this will be very high. How's her food situation? Okay, I need the cooks to work again. Who's my, my researcher, my rock star researcher? It's Oscar. Okay. Well, all the weapon racks are stacked, and we got warhammers and swords, which is what I wanted. Warhammers and swords. And they're full of bows. This is fantastic. It's perfect, really. Maybe Oscar will go do some research in the library finally. Make sure that uh Okay. Chronicles are being produced, but uh textbooks aren't. Kevin has turned 40 today. God. God, that's depressing. Three more years. It's another fucking dead goat? No. No, that's... We're good. 
Okay, nothing else has died. Maybe maybe they were marked for slaughter and I just like them cross-eyed or something. I don't know why they kept dying, but we definitely have a uh, kitchen full of dead animals. Okay, Osgar is doing his research. Alfred's down there butchering the animals. We're going to run this winter on our meat stockpile, I think. Yeah, we're almost back up on the luxury foods. Carrots are flowering. So who's my harvester? Oscar also. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, bless me, Father, for I have sent. It has been too long since my last confession. Oscar, where the fuck are you going? Do more work than that. You go and cut one plant. You know what? I didn't want to cut all these. I wanted to harvest them all. That's why he's not doing it. No, man, you don't get to just walk away like that. He's just going to walk away like that. I don't know. I don't know. We've got we've got some people at work who are like that too. <laughs> Where is he going? Like, he did nothing. He spent two hours weeding a garden with a pitchfork. Seriously, seriously, folks. Somebody spent two hours weeding a garden with a pitchfork when I when I when I came by. He uh, I mean, he'd been just down on his knees working the entire time. But uh, when I came by, he'd pulled out two tiny weeds with a pitchfork. Anyway, um, that's uh, that's a story for another time. Really, truly. But I understand the I understand the pain. Where are you going? What are you doing? I might actually go to astronauts after this. I think that'd be a fun a fun segue. It's getting late though. I have a, a whole new sleeping schedule. I've also lost like 15 pounds, <laughs> you know, good times, good times. Oh, the goat is, the goats are breeding now. This is good. Population's rebounding. Okay, things are being hauled. This is good. We're really stuck at 10 fermenting beer, though, even though I deliberately told them to make 20. I don't know. Whatever. Mark and Hankin had a terrible conversation.
I guess I should finish building the gates too. Might as well get the miners back on mining. We're not going to use barley in our meals anymore, but we will use cabbages. Cheaper breeding. It's good. Yeah, those populations will rebound. I don't know if they will freeze to death in the winter. Again, that's a Rimworld thing. Should be a going medieval thing. Should have to have a barn and warm it. There's nowhere to keep carrot seeds. It seems implausible. Oh, there's nowhere to keep carrot seeds. Well, that won't do, will it? Okay, gates are fixed. Is it? It's 14 degrees outside? Okay. So I'll keep my perishables inside. Ooh. 
a weapons merchant. Milanese armor and Damascus swords. I was at a medieval fair the other day, and the person I was with bought a Damascus knife. I thought that was kind of cool. It's a kitchen knife. It's a nice kitchen knife. Um, I don't think I took any photos of myself or videos of myself there, um, but I got a fancy dancy leather holster for my Nalgene bottle. Um, it's like a, you know, medieval style strappy thing, but it allows me to carry my Nalgene bottle with me at work, which nobody else has, which makes me pretty darn unique. Goodbye. Not goodbye. I mean, it was a goodbye. Uh, I think I will be going to find some uh, HEMA folks later in the summer um, or into the fall and see if I can get myself into some uh, medieval martial arts because, uh, you know, I do all the tasks day to day, the digging and the shuffling and the scraping and the plowing and, the, you know, I walk slowly, I trudge slowly behind a plow. It's like pulled behind two oxes, kind of, you know, three or four horse horsepower. Yeah. Okay, there's the merchant. Catherine, go by... We're really, we're really at the end of the episode here, so she's going to see what's on sale, and then, uh, and then I'm going to call it. There, there we go. All right. Cartography table. A little too expensive for me, I think. I mean, I could sell a bunch of crap to him, I guess. Yeah, I could sell a bunch of crap to him. Okay, let's think about that. Sell some head scarves. Bearskin head scarf. Bearskin. Okay. This one's rat pelt. I don't want a rat pelt headscarf. What else we got down here? Research table. Selling summer clothes. Selling textbooks. He said he had Milanese armor. Weak. I might as well buy that uh, cartography table or try to and see what I can sell him to balance the cost. Okay. So, things they have just an inordinate amount of. Well, okay, let's knock that down with the cost of one deer carcass. Knock it down with the cost of two goat carcasses. <laughs> See a trend here. Uh, herbs. Yeah, let's just sell them our herbs. Those are a seasonal product anyway. All right. And I got a cartography table without having the skill. Without having the skill. Okay. And where does it go in this, in this castle? Do I have a significant indoor space that is as yet unutilized? Is this, this chamber off here? No. Hmm. Real question is where is it? Where's the uh, item? Somebody move it already? Somebody moved it already? No, there it is. How big is it? Oh, I see. That might look good in my library. Does there, is there space? Am I going to have to remodel a little? I'm going to have to remodel a little bit. Ugh. Kind of annoying. Kind of annoying. Yeah, all right, whatever. No, there's no, it would be blocked on all sides. All right, so we'll put it in this uh, this big hall down here. For now. How wide is it? Oh, it's four units wide. Interesting. It's probably the best look for it there. Andrew to install it, and then I'm going to take a look at the map because I haven't uh, haven't built one of these yet. Didn't even bother researching it because I knew I could buy it later. And lo and behold, we bought it later. 
Okay, region map is unlocked. Huh. Oh, you see, like we are we are a commanding mountain fastness above. Let's see what these other mountain bandits. Apparently you'll eventually be able to rally your people and go raid or trade in these locations just like you can in RimWorld. Um, I am looking forward to that. I guess they need to add the siege engine mechanics and yeah, build my trebuchets and battering rams and ladders or whatever before I go. Um, who did I just make a deal with? Forest bandits. So, Kingdom of York. Which is an anarchy. Interesting. I'm done with them. I'm done with the Kingdom of York anarchists. Fuck yeah. And, uh... A band of the She-Wolf, which is a monarchy. Okay. So you see there's lots of enemies around. Society fellows or knowledge. And Korean disciples or restitutionists. So I guess those are my those are my friends. Interesting. Wow. And I've got 100% region influence, whatever that gets me. Oh, I can send a caravan. <gasps> oh, guys. If I want to add... Excuse me, will I just... Holy shit. So I can make things and sell things. Okay, we're gonna cancel that, but... Uh, wow, folks. That's uh, that's a whole new element of this game. So you can now, you don't, you can't raid them yet, but you can trade in the other settlements, and that is... That is something more than nothing. I can't wait to see how that goes in the next episode. Um, but that is, uh, in fact, all for me for now. This has been Postmodern Cowboy, playing Going Medieval, a community management survival game from Foxy Voxel. If you like watching me play these games, let me know what you think down in the comments. Uh, throw me a like, subscribe to my channel. If you don't like watching me play these games, please also let me know what you think down in the comments. Quibble with me, argue with me, criticize me, attack me, tell me my mustache is stupid, whatever floats your boat. Um, but yeah... That's all for today. Keep it peaceful out there.